Hello, just working on my big animation project here. Um, about three cavemen sitting around talking about philosophy. I got to the point in this project where I uh, think I can make a pretty good estimate on how long it's going to take me, and I'm coming up with a number of about three months, which is uh, that's a lot longer than I expected. So I thought this was going to be my next video, but um, I think I'm going to have to move a couple of other projects that I had swimming around uh, up ahead of it. Uh, a couple things I'm going to do is I uh, th thought I'd do a couple of more uh, tutorials. Uh, one of them being on how to um, move the uh, keyframes around. There's a couple of things you can do that uh, I don't think is obvious in the manual and some people have asked about it in the forum. I'll put a link in the forum in the description. So um, let me uh, go ahead and get started on the um, tutorial. Now, most people are going to be using a tablet, but if you're using the mouse, you do a left uh, mouse button, click, and then drag, and you just uh, easily move the keyframe that way. And of course, with the tablet, uh, once you contact the surface, it's like a left mouse click, and you can just drag the, uh, the keyframe that way. Now, the other thing I wanted to show is um, if you drag the keyframe when you get to some more keyframes it seems to snap back but just keep dragging and it'll go to the other side so you can actually um, and jump on the other side of a keyframe and what I want to do is I want to go all the way back to um, frame 24 so I'll just go ahead and do that right now And just keep dragging like I said and there's frame 24 now also let me go back to the uh, group that I wanted to move that's this group here this is a uh, this is some dialogue by the way uh, if I move the uh, scrubber here you can uh, see the guy in the middle talking a little bit so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all of these I'm going to if I double click on uh, this keyframe right here it selects all of the keyframes from there to the right all the way out to the end so all of the uh, all of those have been selected so I'm going to try moving all of them to the left and I'll just uh, grab the first one and drag it like I did the other ones The question is, can you drag a whole bunch of keyframes past uh, another group of selected, unselected uh, keyframes like this? And the answer is, yeah, you can do it. Uh, what it'll do is, um, it won't show that it's appeared on the other side until you get to a point where there's no overlap of keyframes. You, know, you obviously can't put uh, two keyframes in one place. So I'm just going to keep doing that uh, until I get as close to frame 25 as I can. There you go, that worked. And I don't know how close I can get. Well, that worked pretty good. Okay, still making headway here. And there's frame 25. And there you go. That's um, all of the frames that I wanted to move over. Now there's uh, some 
other things you can do that I wanted to point out. Uh, for, for one thing, uh, once all of these are selected, the only way I've been able to figure out to get them unselected, and, and if somebody knows um, a different way, let me know, is to select another um, keyframe. Uh, another thing you can do is um, if you select the keyframe and hold the shift button down, you can select individual keyframes and let the uh, shift button up and then you can move those uh, in, around in a group. And of course, you can drag them across other groups. So, that's all there is to it. Um, I hope this helps. Um, thanks for watching.